babies what's up my darling mvps and how are you all doing welcome back to sale with mimi shostly mimi where you get the gist i see they do waiting i see they heart of course you know there's no sleeping on a bicycle on this channel if you snooze you do well you lose are you yet to subscribe to this channel or are you still sitting on a fat long thing kindly post right there subscribe and make sure you turn on the notification bell if not tell me how do you want to get the gist brewing from the cooking pot like how do you want to get the gist i see the heart so guys <clears throat> it is how this two shaked up the entire house just few minutes they arrived back to the Siamosha house. Like they start mushrooming from left, right, center. And they actually shook all the housemates off. <laughs> because their arrival brought the housemates together. Like they were all in peace. Like it made the housemate feel like it is between the two versus other housemates. Anyways, let's see how things happened in their numbers. But meanwhile, Lawrence Malaka said something. Lawrence said something immediately. Papa Ghost and Lerato came back into the house. That is actually so surprising. What is really happening? You will know all about this when you watch to the very end. And you will tell me what you think is about to go on. Because this show, hmm, I don't think we are ready for what they have for us this season. So, like I said earlier, most of the, not most of the housemates, because when I say most of the housemates, it, it may seem as though some are left out. Like, all of the housemates, Sinaye, Jarido, they are actually shaking because of Papa Ghost and Lerato's return. Like, they are really feeling the hate, you know. In fact, um, Meli and I said, wow, do you know this dude, Makeke? When I see him, I remember Meli. That's why I had to call him. <laughs> Oh, guys, Makeke and uh, Mark Jr. were having a conversation. Mark Jr. was trying to put him in check for some of the things he overdid yesterday on. And he now said, at this point right now, it is game on. Because the housemates already have eyes on him. That the way it is in the house, that he feels he's going to be up back to back. That he's going to be up back to back. They are going to be nominating him back to back, you know. And Mark Jr. asked him a question that some people felt is not necessary. That what does he give from the friendship with Papa Ghost and Lerato? You know, people were like, he's not supposed to ask that. Everybody has friends in that house. It's not for any beneficial reason, but for having somebody at least in the house. Which I think he has. But uh, said mainly again, Makeke actually did reply and say he just likes them, you know. He gravitates towards those people and that is nothing there is nothing else about it so while mac jr were and makeke were having conversation right you know one thing about this thing is that knowing that makeke is close to papa ghost and lerato you know when he get close to mac jr he gives he rub it off from a different angle why because mac jr and papa ghost and lerato they are not in good terms at all but because of they are not in good terms that does not mean makeke would not actually talk to people they don't talk to that's what makeke was explaining to him that they call him a puppet that if he is that he wouldn't be talking to makeke because those two are not in good terms with him so um this girl mpumi joined them they started having the conversation together and then mpumi revealed that lerato modise came to her to tell her that papago said she is the next target in line you get. So Mpumi was like, whatever that is, that she do not care. You get that she has said what she said. She has said her two cents. And that what she said that Sunday is what almost everybody had in mind regarding Papa Ghost. That because she was the one that had the opportunity to say it because she was asked about it does not make her a bad person. That if Papa Ghost and feel that he is coming for her to come and make her uncomfortable in the house or to come and start yapping or anything that if it's with words that there is nothing they can do to her the only thing they can do to her in this house is they cannot beat her they cannot even kill her they cannot hurt her in this house the only thing they can do to her is nomination and their mouth so if that is what they want to use that weapon if the weapon they are going to use then she she would actually use her own weapon which is to keep silence that she would actually win them with silence they would talk and talk until they get tired or more he choke 
in as much as um find yesterday so interesting but do you think papa ghost and lerato started with the right moves because if you ask me i do not really think i will tell you guys why don't worry so guys <clears throat> they also were having conversation with yolanda you know, we, they all know, they already know, I mean, Papa Ghost and Lerato, they know Yolanda's target is Papa Ghost. They know how much Yolanda loves Papa Ghost. But since they came back, they've been giving Yolanda a bit of attention. Though, Lerato told um, Yolanda that herself and Papa Ghost knocked in the house. And then, Yolanda also told Lerato that um, she has interest in her dude. And then, Papa Ghost was like, unfortunately... I am not Jared. I am one man, one woman thinking. I'm like, yo. <laughs> Already Yolanda had conversation with Twenza and Makeke yesterday regarding Papa Ghost Lerato. That she feels that Lerato, all Lerato does is recruit people that try to get close to her and make them like get close to her herself. You understand? If Lerato notices that people are getting close to Yolanda, she would try and make those people her friend. And she said that was the same thing Lerato did. That because she was closer to Papa Ghost first, Lerato noticed it and now went to get Papa Ghost for herself. Anyways, Papa Ghost and Lerato tried to use Yolanda's head. They tried to manipulate her. But they do not know this girl is one of the smartest girls in that household. So they told her, um, how did the nomination go? What happened? Tell us, you know. And guess what? She, she replied that, ah, no. They said we cannot discuss about it. And they started telling her, no, no, no. We were not there and you can discuss about it. You can tell us about it, you know. Yolanda was like, after we finished the nomination, they said we don't have to talk about this nomination amongst each other. That is how Yolanda escaped that. <laughs> If not, she might be landing herself a strike or, um, or punishment or maybe more, you know? Papa Ghost and Lerato were so swift with their moves. They came back and started operating immediately. And then Papa Ghost had a conversation with Liema. Told Liema that he did not even mean to just her out of um, his bed. The same person who told Z that um, Lerato and... Sorry, that Liema and Jared was on his bed. That she's going to leave her bed. He's not telling her that she he did not mean to chase her out of... Um, his bed that is still his bed actually but he just needed you know to arrange his bed blah 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 anyways he told Liema that she is good riding solo like she is good to play this game alone that people loved Liema the singer you know not the Liema in the ship bro I remember Papa Ghost said he's gonna you know dismantle the triangles that is the Liema Mpumi Jari thingy so it may seem as though this is how it is starting but the funny thing is if he wanted to achieve that he wouldn't and at least he wouldn't have started it off with them um, trying to come hard on Liema first do you get like whatever he did on Liema's bed he wouldn't have done it Sorry, on his bed because of Liema, threw her Bible away and all of that. He wouldn't have done it to gain Liema's heart. He would have started off sweet. That is why I said, did the moves they make, was he worried? Right now, they have actually made the moves and now the housemates are suspecting them. The housemates now hold them like this, like all oh, those people, they have a they have this aim of trying to disrupt things in the house. If they hadn't worked in like that, they haven't shown this kind of, you know, thing. The husbands who don't know their plan, that is how it would have gotten better. To me, that's how I think it would have been best handled. Meanwhile, after Papa Ghost had conversation with Liema, Liema now turned to Abakuka, like, oh yeah, kukuru, kuku, that thing. Baby girl, start adding lamba. When I say lamba, lies to whatever Papa Ghost told her because others were interested, interested to know what's happening. So she started telling them that he, they said that um, outside people think low of her, of Liema. People think bad of her. They're not outside is it because of the ship. She said, no, he did, he did not mention ship, but he said people think bad of her. And then that, um, that the housemate social game is so low that they had access to social media. And then what they saw on social media it means that the housemates are so boring, you know. And then that some people, in fact, they have talk talks more and now remember more and say, oh, why, how did I forget this one? That they also say some people <laughs> would actually leave voluntarily this week. Like would knock on the door and say, Biggie, I want to leave. That four housemates is going home the Sunday. Ah, else was so restless. This was get else. This is not fair. If Biggie had to tell them all of this, this is not fair. If no Biggie, this one, so some people will go home on Sunday. See, if they did not go home on Sunday, right? According to Elsa, that if they not go home on Sunday, that people voted them, and then Biggie just actually fake evict them, then it is okay. But if they had gone and come back, that is not a fair gameplay, and they are now back to the game, guys. Come and see this housemate being worked up. 
else took it so personal. Like, it is not fair. Big brother cannot do that. If not, they should do the same thing to me and get me back. I remember that else is up, not knowing that it's fake eviction, you know? So I think when Sunday, when it gets to Sunday, it's dawn on them that everything is a fuck it, like it's a lie. Because how can... <laughs> Nobody's going home on Sunday. That is the truth, you know? So they were so restless. Lema was adding more. But adding more, in fact, they went to the dress room, the, lo the locker room, they started having a conversation about how they would handle Papa Ghost and Mama Ghost. I'm like, oh, yo, just two people is shaking off all these young, um, ladies and gentlemen in the house, you know. In fact, for telling you guys, Nema cooked, you see this particular picture here? She said something, she said, when I cook, about, uh, she said, when I cook, chef, cook. She knows she was cooking and she actually put the housemate in pressure. Talking about putting the housemate in pressure, Liema got panic attack yesterday. Like she started acting up. You know what panic attack is? Cross has actually experienced that in the house. We saw the, how that feels. Liema had panic attack. The housemate was so worried. The camera was not showing her at some point. You know, they were like, what is happening? They had to sit down and was asking her some certain question that would actually bring her back, you know. And the housemate, they said, if Papa goes and Lerata try to make them uncomfortable in this house, that they would do extra, they would do double to them. That if they make them uncomfortable, they would spoil their bed, they would, you know, mess their bed up. They have started planning. It is giving... That's why I said it is giving the whole house verse Pepper Ghost and Mama Ghost. That is the right to what they said. That's why I also said, I do not think they made the right move. They would have taken it slow. They would have been operating calmly, you know, operating calmly, not coming off immediately, doing bass, 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 bass. You're giving the housemate the edge to get ready for you guys. You would have added those sweets, tell some housemates some things and not tell the others. Like... I don't know how to put it, but I think they would have acted cool, calm, and follow whatever they want to do. Right now, the housemates are acting in unity over Papa Ghost and Lerato. How long would that start? The only person that is not forming that unity with them is Yolanda. Um, this is what Liema's handler posted. This night, we have Liema, the chef, go down. Ramsey was found shaking. That was why Liema was lying to the husband, saying some things Papa Goz did not even say to her. You know, the handler posted and said, Hey, Liema, oh, Abakuka. Now, guys, Lawrence said something. Immediately, Papa Goz and Lerato got into the house. Let's read this together and see the reaction. And then you tell me what you can make out of this. He said, Don't call it a comeback. Don't call it a comeback. You know, and this person say, huh? They are definitely leaving this Sunday, ne? They came to say goodbye as they were in the bottom three. You know, Mitch says production did mess by bringing them back. Now, the question is, does it mean that Lerato and Papa Ghost are fully out of the game? If yes, so people are like, okay, it's going to be like doing a low swag, chumsy thingy where they thought they're still in the house, where they are no more. But if that was the case, they would have let us, the viewers, know that that is what happened. But this one, they told us that they are still in the game. The true baby JJ, <laughs> I. Saka, okay, okay, okay. Where do they get this new outfit? Apparently, Yekalani, Nigeria, I do big brother. Don't take them out, please. Make them house guests for the rest of the season. But you said they are still in the game. Most exactly. That was what he told us. You told us that they are still in the game. That is it. You better take them Sunday. They were in the they were the bottom three. Lawrence, Lawrence, please don't give us headache, yo. No, don't take them out of the house. Was the Rata and Papa Ghost able to see comments of public while on vacation? That I don't think that is even possible. That that can never be possible, except they are no longer housemates. So they came back for Liam and not to do better for their bottom three in a game jokes on you. Okay, I'm skipping those two. No man ever step in the same river twice, for it is not the same river and he is not the same man. Got it. Don't stress us, I beg. We, what are you saying, please? Now, we are so surprised. We don't know if there is something else, if those people are going home or not. Right? Until then, we'll have to find out. What do you think about what Lawrence said? To me, I feel if they were supposed to go home on Sunday, we, the viewers, would be aware. While they are not aware, they cannot take us out like that and we'll not know. And later they'll tell us, oh, one thing is this two are out. No, when they would have told us was on Sunday, they'll be like, oh, Laura, somebody said they left the house, but they are not fully out of the house. But that was not what they told us. I don't know if you guys get it. Anyways, coming from Big Brother Life. Guys, please, when Pali's interview drop, take it easy on her. Don't throw her because she is going through a lot. She broke down in tears yesterday after her interview with Kemo. I keep saying one thing. If you are not ready for Big Brother, 
and whatever it brings. Don't even go for the show at all. I keep saying this thing again. Why? I'm saying it to for future big brother Niger housemate that will be going for it. If you are not ready for the heat, do not even go close to the kitchen. It gets why, guys. It really gets why. Anyways, guys, tell me what do you think about all of this shenanigans? Tell me how do you do you love Papagos and Erato moves? I love you, they shake off the house, but I think they were so fast, you know, making the housemates get their game plan. You know, then what Florence just said, you think Lerato and Papagos are going? Let me know what you think, guys. Let's talk in the comment section. Thank you so much for always sailing with me. Make sure you have a mission Wednesday. Bye for now, babies.